yeah hi everyone so today your guest joined with us he is venkat and uh, he is doing electrical and computer engineering in us and uh, he also studied in university of florida along with me and uh, he worked as an research assistant for two semesters under one of the good professor in our university so we will discuss about how he got ra in later part but the main objective of the video will be like uh, can i come from different field to electrical engineering and uh, the next thing will be what are the uh, different fields in electrical engineering electrical and computer engineering and uh, what are all the courses will be there and uh, what i should know before coming to us for electrical engineering these are the main concepts which we are going to see uh, and let's uh, speak with venkat for that and uh, thank you venkat thank you for joining with us and uh, venkat so let me uh, start with few questions which everyone will be having doubt uh, the first question which i have wanted to ask you is what are the fields in uh, electrical and computer engineering and is it good to study ec in usa is it first of all good because there is a common myth only for computer science people there are lot of opportunities over here so how good is ec here so i am basically from ec background uh, and i am part of uh, vlsi domain so so other than cs department there is a scope for ec department as well in ec especially in vlsi field because i am into vlsi field so i'll describe about uh, what are the different fields in ec so there are uh, four fields uh, vlsi embedded signal processing and uh, communication Mm-hmm. so uh, i'll be talking about the vlsi domain so if you have interest in uh, electronic side or integrated circuit side or uh, how the gates are designed how the how it is converted to transistor level and all so you can uh, choose a uh, vlsi domain and further the prerequisite is uh, you need to learn digital electronics mm-hmm. and it's better to know one hardware description language uh, you can find it in youtube so like at just on here like what is hardware description language so uh, can you just name some of the uh, languages which they need to prepare while being in india yeah hardware description language is basically uh, designing a hardware uh, components uh, basically gates uh, designing mm-hmm. a gates in language so for that you need one language that that is what the hardware description language so there are different kinds of language so very log so to design system where log is to design and verification mm-hmm. yeah okay thank you venkat so Actually, and the next is question. it tough over here if a person coming from other background or even from the electronics background can he able to study and cope up with the syllabus yeah uh, course difficulty is uh, depends on the university so so if you are choosing a low level university uh, some c grade and uh, c grade level college then the course level is easy so if you are choosing a grade then the course level will be tough so then b grade then c grade will come uh, the grade wise so for ec it's better to go to the top grade co- universities because uh, so there are very less companies uh, for related to ec department so it's better to go to a grade co- universities and uh, the main thing you should do is before coming to us yes, you should search about the courses uh, to in the university website whether uh, the courses are available or not yeah yeah okay so uh, just uh, coming again to vlsi alone so uh, can you just explain what are the opportunities in vlsi field so job opportunities so first you need to learn the basics for front end as well as back end you need to learn digital electronics mm-hmm. and uh, digital electronics and one hardware description language and some tools so related to front end so it's designing uh, design part and verification part comes under front end okay and then the back end comes under placement routing floor planning so for that you need to learn the tools provided by cadence or synopsis okay yeah yeah okay how to approach a professor venkat so i i am coming uh, let's assume me as i am coming for 2022 august or 2023 august so what will be the ideal time to approach a professor should i do a volunteering under professor in order to get a ra or how how the process flow uh, goes like that so uh, to get research assistantships it depends on professor first thing but the process is like first you need to mail the professor about your experience and about your knowledge related to his field so here every professor will be doing some projects so 
to get an RA and a professor is like he he will give some work related to his project, so you have to help him to complete his project. So that's how RA should work here. Uh, okay. Yeah. Then uh, first thing is to mail professor about your uh, experience or uh, skills that you have related to his project, and you have to send your resume. And then you should ask him uh, whether there are any research opportunities available or not. If not, can I do volunteering under you for one semester? And then, if you like my work, can you upgrade to a research assistantship? So, okay. and the benefits of a research assistantship is uh, if you get an RA, so the fee will be waived off, and uh, you'll get health insurance as well. Okay. Yeah, and you will be paid every month. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, understood. So actually, uh, actually, friends. So here, when you are doing a masters, everyone knows that we need to pay our tuition fee, which is going to be some money. But the main problem is even insurance is costly over here. For uh, basically in University of Florida, we we took insurance from third party people, where we need to be paying some thousand six hundred per year. in order to fully covered insure in order to get a fully covered insurance and uh, basically in some other university i heard like one of my friend in portland university he told like every semester he need to take a insurance which is costing around 7 700 per semester and another one guy from arizona he told 1000 so it's like insurance is not so cheap uh, just to mention that uh, even that will be a cost barrier so even for ra they are giving insurance which is a very good deal Uh, nice to know that venkat so apart from this venkat so um, in general is this uh, research assistantship will will it help you in any other way like for uh, finding a job or is it is it beneficial to do a ra or is it better to go for an internship what's your point on that so it's better in both ways so so if you do an internship so then you you might have some uh, industry experience for 3 months and that depends on the role that you get and that depends on the team that you get so if you are doing some internships without work in a industry for 3 months then there is no use so but okay. when when you are in good team then it will be useful for your full time as well and when comes to the research assistantship definitely there will be a work under your professor related to industry only uh because he is doing industry projects okay. so if you add it on your resume definitely it will way more it way it, it will way more uh, it will add weight to your resume yeah okay so uh, you are also you worked under a professor right so you were also working for an industry then yeah so okay. it's an industry project funded by intel oh okay intel nice to know that uh that's all venkat so basically these are the main questions which i had so apart from that in your point of view if you want to tell uh, someone coming to us what are the things they need to remember or what are the things ne- they need to consider while coming for a ec in uh, us if you have some points you can add on to this so if you are coming uh, to do e- uh, masters in ec department especially into vlsa domain first thing is definitely you should know about digital electronics because so when you come here they don't teach about digital electronics directly they will go into the topics okay. so it will be hard to cope up to you uh, to get done with the assignments or whatever the uh, mid term exams and all so be prepared before when you come to ec department uh, and choose good universities for ec department okay that's it yeah okay thank you and get thank you for your time thanks monesh yeah Um, yeah will yeah friends the, that's it for today's video and uh, if you have any comments for venkat you can leave down and i am attaching his uh, linkedin id and instagram id below uh, if you want to ask any question you can uh, approach venkat uh, he'll be happy to help you guys and uh, apart from that uh, that's it for today's video we'll meet in another one session thank you bye Hello guys this is Venkat <laughs> Yeah Hello guys this is Venkat uh, I'm studying uh, EC in at the University of Florida so my background is real estate technology I should I start Hello guys this is Venkat I'm studying uh, masters pursuing masters Hello guys this is Venkat <laughs> uh, then uh, I came from EC background I did my undergraduate in EC at uh, Coimbatore, Canada Institute of Technology. Uh, 
then what all the questions before coming here uh, one should know the basics of digital electronics and uh, any hardware description language to be a part of LSI, <laughs> LSI domain <laughs> then uh... hello guys this is venkat <laughs> <laughs>